developing tonight. A former player for both the Memphis Tigers and the Grizzlies has disappeared, and now his family is worried about his safety. If anybody who knows any information leads to anything, which is please, I mean, negative or positive, we, we would appreciate. It was then that local TV reporter Kanji Anthony was thrust into the story of her life. Have you ever been in a newsroom when everybody's phone starts ringing? I was sitting in my newsroom and I was working on a completely other story. Well, our phones just started buzzing and we're all like, what is going on? This is big. And so we found out that there was a body found. The way the police were acting and the way the scanner sounded, they said, we need you to go too. And we suspected it could be Lorenz and Ripe. Local heroes don't just disappear, which is why everyone was concerned. The search for a former NBA star has come to a shocking end. Everyone was just shocked. So Kanji Anthony raced to the scene. Kanji was directed to a wooded area in Germantown, Tennessee, which happened to be close to where Lorenzen's mom lived. Police tracked an unreported 911 call to this area. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Georgetown 911, where's your emergency? Hello? 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 Police tracked the call, and when Kanji and reporters arrived at the scene, they were shocked. It was a sweltering July afternoon, about 11, and we drove up to the scene, and it was a frenzy. It was emotional. It was hot. A body was found in a wooded area in Memphis. Police say it's that of NBA star Lorenzen Wright. It was an unbelievable scene. His mother was crying, screaming through the streets. I stay lost inside my teeth. It was like I was empty. Like somebody just pulled my heart out through my mouth. Like just empty, nothing up here no more, just gone. I cried, I cried. I could not believe that they found my friend in the woods of Memphis, in his own hood. You know what I mean? I, I lost it, man, and I didn't know what to do. You had NBA greats from Memphis who were standing out there. I mean, Penny Hardaway was out there. This isn't how you want it to end, being found in the field somewhere and for what? To hear that, um, you know, he was, he was killed um, in his hometown, it was very emotional. People loved him. And to imagine that he was killed execution style, that's insanity. 